Lay out the pieces needed so you can clearly identify them when constructing. For the purpose of the video we are only doing one side. These parts are clearly marked side. Unwrap the tape and lay out one of the sides. Side angles times 4. Gutters times 2. Side glazing bars, which are labelled side bars, are taped together for both sides. For the purpose of this video we will only be doing one side. The number of side glazing bars is dependent on how long the greenhouse is. For the greenhouse we are doing, there are three for each side. Side built-in base times two, neoprene, bag of fittings. Next, we need to bead the side glazing bars. There are two places the neoprene beading needs to go. Profile of the glazing bead. The arrow head of the glazing bead slides into the V grooves of the glazing bar. Using the long nose pliers, drag the neoprene to the end of the bar. Leave a couple of inches hanging over the end of the bar just in case it has been overstretched. With a pair of scissors or pliers, cut the ends of the neoprene off. Repeat this process for the other side of the glazing bar. Repeat for all side glazing bars. Do not bead in the middle section of the glazing bar. Lay out the pieces on the ground as though you were standing inside the house with a gutter and built-in base sill facing downwards. The side glazing bars and the built-in base section, the bolt channels should be facing skywards. Slide a bolt into each end of the glazing bar. Then fix the glazing bar to the gutter by pushing the bolt through the hole in the gutter bar and then securing with a nut. It is important that when you tighten the nut up, the glazing bar is hard up against the gutter and we advise you to tighten first just with your fingertips and no tooling. Now do the same with the other two glazing bars. If you have any cantilevers to go on the side or you intended to fit a shelf on the length of your greenhouse, now is the time to pre-insert a nut and bolt. Slide a nut up the glazing bar towards the gutter and secure with a nut. This will enable the fitting of a cantilever brace during general assembly later in the construction. Fix the built-in base sill to the middle glazing bar by pushing the bolt through the hole in the sill. Make sure it is tight down to the base. Position the built-in base section on the outermost glazing bar. Before you put the nut on, place the angle tie bar over the bolt. Arrange the angle so that in each case the flat bit of the angle faces towards the middle of the greenhouse. Place the nut on and fingertip tight. Do the same for the opposite end glazing bar. If your greenhouse is going onto soft standing you will have a corner bracket which is attached to the rear and front gable ends. So at this stage you need to insert a bolt into each end of the built-in base and put the nut on to tighten in place. This will be used later in general assembly. If your greenhouse is going onto hard standing you will need to slide bolts under the bolt channel. As a general rule, we will put one bolt at the bottom of every glazing bar. Put the nut on to secure. You still need to insert a bolt at each end for the corner bracket.
On the assumption that this greenhouse is going on to hard standing, in the main bag of fittings you will find a number of unequal angle brackets. The number depends on the size of the greenhouse. Line up the top slot with the previously inserted bolt and then move into position so that the bottom of the angle bracket is in line with the built-in base. Tighten with the nut. Do the same for the other angle brackets. It doesn't matter where they go along the base. As a general rule, we will put one bolt at the bottom of every glazing bar. You do not need to attach the top of the side angle to the gutter bar at this stage. One side is now complete. Repeat this process for the other side. 